This is Karis Alexander with Deep Truth Media. Here we deconstruct consciousness. That is, when you take the word consciousness and you break it into its individuated components and you look up the word con, shus, and ness, in the dictionary you will come up with the same definition that I did, and that is, consciousness, when you put it back together again, is a quality and state of tricking and deceiving of someone through knowledge. Now, the power control force, those that presume to run this world, mold thought into a consciousness soup in order to mold and script and move the etheric, this etheric field, these electromagnetic field, the unified field into whatever direction they want, which allows them to what? Guide and direct things on earth. Remember, as I said in my previous audio, that the etheric is this feeling tone. This is why the power control force keep humanity immersed in negativity, because they're guiding and directing that negative energy into a collective soup in order to guide and direct things here on earth, in order to build a world of their own. Did you tune in to this critical planetary alignment that happened May 22nd to June 2nd, 2015? If you go back in your calendar and you look between that time period, there was a very significant planetary alignment that I talked about and I mentioned in my Facebook page between Mars Sun, Mercury, Earth, and Saturn. It was a profound shift, this planetary alignment, energetically for me. Planetary alignments, again, will affect your biological resonances and will heighten the psychophysiological aspects within yourself, creating an unsettling effect or unrest within yourself and on the external reflective. So if you look back between the period of May 22nd to June 2nd, did you find that this period was quite challenging for you? Because... I like to use planetary alignments as markers, as gauges. We also had a full moon on June the 2nd. And so I know for myself what I got to see and experience on the external reflective was a dismantling of all things human. But the dismantling on the external reflective that I bear witness to within my own life was really about the movement into a more refined alignment with the truth of who I am and who I am becoming as nothing in the totality of who I am and who I am becoming sovereign and more powerful. And in that internal correction that is happening within myself, it is magnifying on the external reflective, the dismantling of all things human. And it was very definitive for me. And what I was allowed to do was just to hold steady and not have any emotional attachment. So I'm moving into a place of no emotion now. Can you imagine that? Moving into a place of not having any emotion to anything. Being able to stay in a place of neutrality. This is what is happening for me. A very profound shift. And as I contemplate this space that I'm moving into, where I have no emotional content, I'm no longer attached to this sea of consciousness that keeps me emotionally engaged in the system of consciousness or the physical material reality. What I'm also coming into a deeper and deeper awareness of as nothing and experiencing the personality caris through the biological vehicle is the refining and the knowing that what I am unraveling as I come to know self as no thing, that I am immersed in a program, a programmed reality. And that even in the process of me unraveling and coming to know self as no thing and the dismantling of all things human that that process that i'm engaged in is a program as well pretty interesting stuff and so last in my last audio I talked about the astrological blueprint which is the architecture it is your infrastructure that allows you to experience your physical material reality and it becomes animated through your structured energy or belief system that you acquire from inception and these belief systems are what animate and guide and direct your destiny pattern. Although it is an imposed pattern, once you come to know the truth of who you are and you eradicate all your belief systems, which is what you must do, then your authentic destiny pattern reveals itself to you. But that pattern is still a program within your physical material reality. So this is some really profound stuff. So as this destiny blueprint 
reveals itself to you as you deconstruct your belief system and eradicate your belief system what reveals itself to you is that you are a creator of worlds and that you have just been creating a world for a few that you have the capacity to create worlds that your designers the architects of your biological vehicle design the biological vehicle in such a way that you can create worlds but they circumvent your ability to do that and this is what we are coming into the knowing and truth of so I want to share a few comments with you and then we'll go into our topic here you can read the article at your leisure and the topic is deconstructing consciousness transport into nothingness equals instant manifested reality through concentrated magnetic heart reveals your destiny blueprint this is sharing in which I'm experiencing certain phenomena or anomalies in my life and I want to share that with you it's a very profound sharing at a level at the highest level in which I could be sharing at this point anyway. So the comment. This comment was a comment left on deconstructing consciousness, addictive emotional attachments, victimization, and transparency through speaking the truth who you are. It was a comment on YouTube that I wanted to share I thought might be of interest to all of you. I like it when you said we keep recreating the same experiences to reaffirm the imprinting of our personality by use of our emotions and therefore giving us a false sense of self-identity. This is our ego, the stories we tell ourselves and others. It's a false perception as everyone has a different perception on each individual. Our perceptions are not real, they are our illusions. Exactly. And your perceptions have been given to you by by who the power control force through their what their ego cult so you are born into a cult system the whole system is a cult and it's built on this ego consciousness and until you come to a place of eradicating the ego consciousness you will always be subject to this cult system that you've been born into okay here's another comment for you this is from a new subscriber on Facebook I want to thank my friends who send me individuals who they feel should be friend me on Facebook and listen to the things that I share here about a third of the people that come to Deep Truth Media and come to know me on Facebook are through other individuals so uh, I thank you all for referring people to me and uh, another interesting thing that I found out was that 79% uh, of the viewers on YouTube are male I thought that was quite interesting I never really look at the statistics but I happened on to that the other day and I gather I'm supposed to share it and there's some information there for me that I have I'm still ciphering but 21% are female so I found that very interesting well this is pretty intense stuff so you know not that it's only male energy that could handle it but I don't know there's something there about it I'm juncturing that most of the males that are listening are heart-centered so are very yin focused and uh, so that's that's inspiring to know that so here's a comment I'm glad we could connect on Facebook I visited your website and YouTube page and it seems that you are a media maker too and your topics are quite interesting I find it unique that your focus on deconstructing consciousness from so many different perspectives or angles so often I see media and information that discusses building up consciousness but it seems that you are working to distill or bring it to a simple element what got you started in this line of work I'm happy that I was able to meet another conscious media maker and look forward to learning more. I hope all is well. And here's my response. My journey started 17 years ago with the dark night of the soul. At that point, I started the journey to love myself. That was it. But as I went along, I realized I was on a quest and not sure, but I trusted the path. And now I share my path with others in the sharing of the deconstruction of consciousness. Deconstruction of consciousness is one possibility in the unlimited possibilities we can conceive of in this universe. And in the deconstruction of consciousness, it allows me to ground what I am learning about this universe and our physical material reality. And for those who are interested, I help them on their quest to express and experience their uniqueness. The concept of our totality as no thing is new, a shift from awareness that is a refinement of what we truly are, ours nothing. And I know that and experience that 
And in that, I know that what I, what we are to experience here in the physical dimension is insignificant to that which we are. I share a perspective and those who are interested, listen, learn and grow. Many blessings and hope that what I share is helpful. And finally, some say that I have shattered their belief systems. And if I can do that, then my journey is worthwhile. It truly is a glorious time. So the title of sharing is Deconstructing Consciousness Transport into Nothingness Equals Instant Manifested Reality Through Concentrated Magnetic Heart Reveals Your Destiny Blueprint. So for most of humanity to know self as no thing is impossible because their alignment to the truth of who they are is regimented, structured, and then laced with regulations covering every aspect of their behavior. This in turn forces most of humanity to follow along like good sheep or to infringe on those laws that cause them to experience their self-imposed suffering with all the recriminations, with all the su self-imposed suffering, with all the recriminations and guilt within their program physical material reality. History shows us repeatedly how civilizations have collapsed once they become self-indulgent, because this is a characteristic of the power control force, that is those that create your physical material reality. You see, when one indulges like the entity running this physical material reality, that is, this entity uses its power and control to force the body of humanity into a perpetual thought form of a people who feel weak, dependent, and in constant survival, while feeling a sense of hopelessness and worthlessness through a contrived system of scarcity and lack, which only breeds a society in the throes of its own demise. You see, it's important for you to know and become familiar with your essence as no thing, as you truly exist outside the constraints of the universe and your physical material reality. This is why the Universal Architect designed our biological vehicle in order to enslave your essence so that you would create the experiences and circumstances you design so that you think you are learning and growing through your physical experience. But in actual fact, this physical material reality is really designed to polarize your perception while you create a reality for a few. However, once you learn the game that is being played on your essence is no thing, you will learn to step outside the confines of your limited perceptional reality, allowing you access to the unlimited potential and possibilities that exist within the etheric realm, which is home to what is can be described as instantaneous manifestation, that is your ability to stand in the wholeness of all that you are and create only joy and abundance for yourself out of your own unique expression without any intermediary or agent. You see, the power control force has set the system of consciousness up in such a way that humanity can never elevate itself enough to accept full responsibility for itself, individually or collectively. Because self-reliance devoid of survival and fear is not a natural experience of the body of humanity in its current state. Simply because the body of humanity experiences life through its individual and collective ego consciousness, which is obsessed with itself and its survival. Again, all by design in order to circumvent any sense of true sovereignty and freedom, which comes out of knowing the truth of who you are and what you are as no thing. Do you as yet have the capacity to bear witness to the situation that you find yourself in? This sea of lies and fakery and trickery without attachment. And that does not mean numbing out. Because it's through your attachments, your addictions to the physical materiality, that the power control force keep you addicted to their system of consciousness. You see, within the subconscious mind of humanity, the propensity to stay in balance is almost always compromised, whereby making a society a byproduct of weakness and self-indulgence with the obsessive compulsion inclination to turn all mechanisms of stimulation to titillate itself, leaving you with the vague idea of the concept of knowing truth, which only causes doubt and confusion. Because in all honesty, when one is in truth, in the knowing of who and what they are is no thing, one's natural state is to live in the natural excitement of not knowing, 
Therefore, that sense of needing to know is what keeps you in the loop of time and space, forever eluding you from the knowing and truth of who you are as nothing. For once you accept physical materiality for what it is, which is fakery and trickery, designed to cause massive doubt and confusion, you will learn to move about your physical materiality without others ever really seeing you. For the impact that you make on physical materiality will become minimal as you begin to live beyond your physical materiality, non-physical materiality, and the etheric realm. And I am not speaking about between physical materiality and non-physical materiality and the etheric. Some would have you believe. And what I'm saying there is that some will have you believe that you are to create between physical materiality and non-physical materiality. You are not able to create between the two contrasting energetic realities within the universe. You must traverse outside of this universe and use the etheric field in order to manifest that which you desire in your physical material reality. That is the different perspective that I share here based on my own experience. What I am asking you to consider is that you can and will in fact step beyond a world of perceptions that have been imposed on your essence as no thing by others to a world of your own as this is the ultimate reality available for you at this particular juncture in time and space in your physical material world. You see, there is no past and there is no future. These are constructs built within the system of consciousness designed to deceive your essence from knowing that there only is this present moment as that is where you exist as nothing in your totality in the present moment as you come to the knowing and truth of this you will learn to use a biological vehicle to create that which you want in life by concentrating your essence as nothing into a magnetic charge creating a vortex through your heart chakra and this is where you will learn to draw your physical reality to you through your biological patent or blueprint with your thought forms while using the mind the thought process and thought to direct the content of the mind and pulling your future toward you, that which you want and desire. And when this happens, you will no longer allow yourself to be at the whim of the power control force that is creating a utopia for a distinct few. You see, it is by pulling your energy inward into neutrality that you have access to all that is your essence. And when this happens, you will become free of emotional content, allowing you to diverse the either uninhibited allowing you to create instantaneously through the concentrated power of thought and magnetism whereby poof your manifested reality materializes on your external reflective allowing you to what jump physical materiality that the power control force wield through the body of humanity by controlling its thought forms through augmented virtual reality constructs like the one we currently live in but is obscured from the masses but you see that veil will be lifted and is lifting as we soon will learn and come to know and view the latest augmented reality devices and wearables like Oculus Rift developed by your designers who are working on transporting you fully into virtual reality down to the last fingernail. I want you to check out an article that I posted in the description in my article that I'm reading to you. Oculus Rift is directing research and development resources toward making camera sensors that is what will make photorealistic immersion possible as a goal for future generations of its product. The idea is to truly transport virtual reality users in ways that have broad applications beyond the world of gaming and even entertainment. In other words, they want to put the actual presence into the word telepresence. So when I looked up the word telepresence, telepresence refers to a set of technologies which allow a person to feel as if they were present 
to give the appearance of being present or to have an effect via telerobotics at a place other than their true location. I hope you know where I'm coming from here. Telepresence requires that the user's senses be provided with such stimuli and to give the feeling of being in that other location. So what we're talking about is teleportation, but what we're also talking about is what I was just talking about in that as nothing, as you become to know the totality of who you are, there's only this present moment. What the power control force are trying to do is to augment this sense of the present moment so that you do not come to know who you are because you can only do that in the present moment through your biological vehicle and your five sense personality. But if they can hijack your ability to come to know yourself through wearables like Oculus Rift and have you perceiving through technology that they are designing that you are in the present moment or teleporting into other virtual reality constructs, then what they are do, attempting to do is to circumvent your ability to become the creator that you have the capacity to become at this juncture in your lifetime. So I hope you can see where I'm coming from here. Very profound stuff when you can see through the deception. All augmented reality translates into further enslavement of your essence as nothing. You see, it's so important for you to come to the recognition that you live in a sea of sickness designed to keep you in a thick, slippery glue of your time and space continuum, forever lost in the neurosis of the ego cult system that enslaves you and augmented reality devices like Oculus Rift which are being designed to, to forever keep you from knowing the truth of the creator potential that you embody, that is reminiscent of your essence as no thing. You must not forfeit the creative potential that is being bestowed upon you, whether you realize it or not. This is the opportunity available to you, and you are being guided and directed toward this truth and knowing as all things human fade away. And the power control force know this, and they want to circumvent your ability to come to know the truth of who you are. That's why they must develop these devices. Because it will be through your ability to create worlds that will set you free from this consciousness program. That is through the creation of the life which comes out of your own unique expression. That's the opportunity before you. The key to truly creating in truth is to remember that there is no past or future as they do not exist. There is only this moment. So whatever idea, concept, vision you want to manifest, you must concentrate all your energy through secrecy and silence. And this is key, as you don't want to dissipate your energy. As in silence, there is what? Mystery. And in that mystery grants you with the additional impact and power with regards to that which you are manifesting into your life. The physical materiality you take in becomes more real as you begin to experience others projecting into your reality. As they cannot destroy what is that you are creating, as they are ignorant of it, and because of their stupidity, they will grant you a power that they do not have yet. Therefore, secrecy and silence helps you by keeping the physical materiality guessing, so that you are always one step ahead of the consciousness program. And just watch as people find it difficult to put their finger on who and what you are because you have transcended the womb matrix of time and space. That is your physical materiality. And so you use this ability to call forward that which you want to express as nothing. And in this, this is how instantaneous manifestation occurs. It comes as a result of knowing and being in alignment with the truth of who you are as nothing and keeping secret that which you are manifesting in your physical material reality. Now everything in your physical world is composed of positively or negatively charged energy. You already know this. This state of polarity or duality is the foundation upon which your physical materiality is based. Consequently, you are designed to create separation and view everything in terms of dual opposites, just as good and bad, black and white, rich and poor, pain and pleasure, love and hate. This is why you have such a challenging time manifesting your reality 
and why you have become so incapacitated that you only create for physical materiality for a few without your knowledge and consent. You see, the universal architects who created this dualistic consciousness program did so in order to enslave your essence as nothing within a mechanism created to limit your essence as nothing from its true potential and capacity to experience life fully in your third dimensional prison bodies so that you would never remember who you are due to the contrast of experience in this physical materiality because of the myriad of emotions and choices you experience for without knowing sadness, you would have no context from which to experience joy. And it is through all the associated emotions that contradict who and what you are and keeps you believing in your physical material reality. As it is only by standing in the neutral space between positive and negative poles of emotions as nothing that we can begin to objectively observe a bigger picture and open our awareness to create new perceptions and experiences that are congruent with our uniqueness. In reality, all things simply are. It is only from our perceptions and beliefs that we create meaning from nonsense, which is most of what we create in our physical material reality anyway. You see, it is easy to immediately judge an experience or circumstance. I challenge you to resist the temptation to judge and simply observe whatever it is happening in the moment. The past is over and the future is only the present moment from which you will create your next experience. Learn to surrender into the present moment and ask your essence is no thing to, to show you the gift within all things. By not judging the experience, you prevent the accumulation of polarized thoughts and open yourself to new awareness of that which you are is no thing. Please know that being in the moment includes being with your feelings and allowing any emotions that arise from the situation to flow through you. Attempts to suppress or deny your emotions and allowing yourself to become stuck in them is unproductive and self-destructive. Your emotions simply are what they are in the moment, which will pass and so too will the emotions. Therefore, be with your emotions, observe them and allow them to transmute into nothingness and see what you can learn about yourself and others as a result of the transmutation. I know you may feel that many of life's events are frustrating or painful to experience, but you have to know that this is the way your physical materiality game is designed. It's designed this way to keep you from your creative potential that exists in your state of nothingness, where you have the true potential and capacity to learn, grow, and flower into full expression of your true self as nothing. This is the opportunity before you. Trust in the knowing and truth of this. Now is the time more than ever to let go of all your expectations and allow yourself to flow with the essence of life. It's important to know that we create many of our stressful or painful experiences from a need to plan and control our environment from a mental viewpoint rather than from our hearts. You see, it is when what we think we want is not in alignment with our life purpose that we encounter difficulty and resistance. Therefore, it is important to learn to recognize the signs of synchronistic life flow in order to work with life rather than against it because this is the true authentic empowerment that you are seeking. So my question to you is, are you worth it? Is it worth your time and effort to walk the path less traveled on your quest to nothingness so that you can be free of this consciousness program, free of the system that enslaves you in your physical material reality, so that you can become the creator your desires obscure from you at all costs in order to usurp your creative potential to create worlds. You exist beyond all the concepts ever designed within your physical material reality. Are you just going to sit around and watch your world as it's created for you? Or are you going to take back your power to create a utopia that is unique to your essence and that mirrors and reflects your greatness? What are you willing to do to reclaim your power to create a world that authentically mirrors your essence and that mirrors and reflects your uniqueness and empowers your human 
to be more, despite the madness around you. Seize the every eternal moment now, and create like you have never created before, because your sovereignty and power awaits you with bated breath. I thank you so much for tuning in. It truly is a grand time to be here.